You know, sometimes when you're going through this um, separation time and you're wondering what on earth you're going to do in the future, you know, you're going to perhaps have to move from the house um, on top of the divorce. You know, moving house is very stressful. Um, you might not know what you're going to do financially. There are many different aspects to addressing when you're going through this big change. And I completely understand that that can be phenomenally overwhelming because you feel stuck, you feel isolated, a lot of sadness and pain and fear. Fear is a great um, emotion going through this challenging time. But actually, when you have coaching, you have somebody there to support you and guide you, somebody there to help you see a new path forward. And, you know, if you're doing all that on your own, it's incredibly difficult. And perhaps you feel, you know, a bit of a burden to your family and friends. And OK, they know what's going on, but perhaps they don't really know what to say to you. And, you know, there's always a tendency when discussing it with friends that they'll take sides and it can become aggressive and, you know, wanting to get your own back or, you know, you know going down that road. And that's not really helpful for healing because, okay, you're bound to feel um, angry if you've been left and you're bound to feel, um, you know, uh, what, what would the word be? Um, guilty if you're the one that is as leaving so whichever way you look at it it's something that is very hard to uh, assimilate and process and again as i might have mentioned before it's like putting all these emotions into one big pot and it's very difficult to swim through that because it feels like you know a mud a mud pot <laughs> With coaching, it helps you separate those things out so you can really um, understand how you can put your life back together again, how you can put the pieces together and join the dots up again. Because at the moment, going through it, it's sort of scattered everywhere and these emotions are all whizzing around and not knowing you know, what direction to go in. So it's very helpful, it's very constructive, and it leads you to new understanding about yourself, about your purpose, what you want to do with your life. You know, when you're in a relationship, it's very, you know, uh, together. We, you know, you do things together. It's very dependable. And, you know, you rely on each other for different things, which is completely understandable. However, when that changes and you're left without that stability, if you like, it is very disorientating and scary. There's no two ways about it. It's scary for both men and women, whichever way round it might be, whether you're the person who's, who's being um, left or whether you're the one that's leaving, made the decision to leave, or maybe it's a mutual decision. But whatever, it's absolutely inevitable that life is going to change. And what is that life going to look like for the future? And, you know, when you're right in the middle of it and you're going through that heartache and pain, it's very difficult to see a happy future ahead. And obviously all these things take some time. But if you've got some tools in your bag to help you understand it better, help you go through it with support and positive guidance. It makes that journey and that healing much easier and quicker indeed. So I feel that, you know, <laughs> I'd like to help everybody going through divorce <laughs> because, you know, when you look on and see your friends or uh, colleagues going through such a, a a trauma it's very hard just to stand by and watch that suffering so I'm very much here to help 
and guide you and give you support and the necessary um, tools that you need to move your life forward to the next step.